<clears throat> Hi, I'm Mark Day and I'm here to talk to you about cults. Are they a good thing? Should we join a cult? Should we start a mediocre heavy metal band and name it after a cult? I don't know. I don't know the answers to these questions, but I can tell you this. As part of my work at the Cult Awareness Network, I monitor the so-called Nalts Nation from a safe distance. I subscribe to some of their, their video channels on YouTube. I got up this morning um, to discover that the Nalts Nation are soliciting votes to make Kevin Nalty win some kind of Valleywag contest as the best looking man on the internet. Well, actually, let me back up a little, let me back up a little. In the, you know, in the 70s, if you wanted to start a cult, you kind of had to have a big, kind of freakish, scary beard. You had to have a lot of LSD to feed your followers. You kind of needed a ranch out in the middle of nowhere. You needed like an agenda, some guns, some people you were going to bring down. You needed a copy of the White Album by the Beatles. You needed some screwed up crazy followers. Uh, you, today, apparently, all you need is a YouTube account and uh, the brass balls to declare yourself a viral video genius. And I think we know who we're talking about here, the so-called viral video genius that is Kevin Naltz Nalty. Now, if you think about it, that's classic cult-like behavior. You declare yourself to be a genius, right? I mean, and that video was not in any way an ironic statement. I mean, I think if you look through the layers of irony, what you see underneath, is classic cult-like behavior. Now, Nautz has his followers trying to rig a competition so that he can win the Valleywag best looking guy on the internet thing. His, his followers are lobbying for this. And the thing is, he's testing them. He's testing, this is again, classic cult-like behavior. You set up a task that's somewhat unrealistic and, and you know and expect your followers to follow through. Come on, Kevin Nalty, he's not a looker. He's not what you'd call the hottest looking guy on the internet. Basically, if uh, John Malkovich and Chevy Chase had a baby, a little lisping baby, it would grow up to be Kevin Nalts Nalty. Uh, but you know, he's testing his followers. He's demanding that they post videos encouraging their subscribers to vote for him as the hottest looking guy on the internet. Um, and if he doesn't win the contest, oh, it's gonna get ugly. You know, he'll be, he'll be back at the Nalts Nation compound forcing his followers to watch the same video of a cat chasing a laser pointer over and over again. Like, you know, this is how cults do it, sleep deprivation. 48 hours straight of watching this video of a cat chasing a laser pointer while he screams at them through a megaphone. Is this what you want? Is this what you aspire to? Is this the kind of video that you want to see on YouTube? If not, make me win more contests. Well, I'm here, as I often am on the internet, to stage an intervention. I'm here to stage an intervention and perhaps speak. I'm speaking now directly to you, the members of the Nalts Nation, I'm calling out, you know, Nut Cheese, Zach Scott, the Colour Sepia, Triple Helix, you know, the other people who have been sucked into this vortex of lies and deception, because that's, that's what a cult is, it's a vortex of lies and deception. I'm talking to you now, and I, I just want you to know there's help out there. There are people who want to help you get out of this this ugly situation um, and I think the first step to getting you out of this ugly situation is to not vote for Kevin Nalty as Valleywag's hottest man on the internet. No, you should vote for me instead. That's right, vote for me, Mark Day, as the hottest man on the internet. And I know what you're saying. I, I think you're, you're perhaps saying, Mark, you're not in the contest and that's why I'm telling you to make me a write-in candidate. Just just write my name in and then just tick the box. Now, I know it's an online internet competition, so what I'm asking you to do is just take out a Sharpie or some other permanent marker and just write my name just on your monitor and then just tick the box next to my name. Now, I know some of you are saying that perhaps you don't really want to write my name on your monitor with a permanent marker, to which I say, 
are you do you not want out of this cult like situation do you not love and trust me at this point do you not trust me that that's the right thing to do it's the right thing to do and I want you to do it now I want you to pick up a pen write my name on your monitor and tick next to the box make me the hottest looking man on the internet and we'll get you out of this situation together don't panic help is on the way help is on the way that's all for now